Hello and welcome to this first episode of a new series of video we want to offer to you that we're going to call uh, Weird and Rare Books, I think. So why did we want to start this series of video? Um, so as you probably guess, as a librarian we love books amongst other things. Um, but most of us also love those weird, rare, unusual books. Um, and because we all have in our personal collection some of these weird, strange books, we decided to uh, show them off. So in each video we will talk about a different book or genre or time period. Um, but really all will be focused about these books that you might not be used to see on the shelf of a library or a bookshop. Uh, can be pop-up books, can be um, yeah, like a very bizarre initiative or a bizarre book uh, or a surrealist subject or something like that. And for this first episode, I wanted to show you a book that I absolutely love. Uh, I, I have, I've been having my eyes on this book for years and I got it uh, for my birthday a few years back. And I still love this book. I can't. Um, I, I really spend hours just looking at it, uh, looking at each page, and trying to to understand what it is. So um, I, I am French, um, and many of the books I wanted to talk about about are actually French. And I was a little bit um, concerned that maybe it wouldn't be interesting to most of you if you don't speak the language, but I won't have the problem with this specific book. This book is the Codex Seraphinianus by uh, Luigi Serafini. And not only is being described as the strangest book ever published, ever written, but it is written in a language that we don't know. So I don't know if you can see here on the cover. It's a weird language. Um, and basically this whole book is an encyclopedia of a uh, world that is not ours. Um, so you will have lots of illustrations. I'm going to show them closer. Um, showing yeah, lots of things that are happening in a different world. Let me show you closely what I'm talking about. So when we look actually inside the book, we would have uh, all of these weird, weird description. So it's classified by type of um, of things, I guess. <laughs> so you will have some animals, some really beautiful, even if they are really bizarre <laughs> uh, animals. We will have some buildings, we will have some like activities, we have some maps. And as you see, the language is all written in this really kind of weird um, writing. And this language has been puzzling linguists and code breakers for years. It appears to look like a language or alphabet that could be deciphered. Uh, but the author, uh, Luigi Serafini himself, said that it wouldn't mean anything and that the text was really written more organically in automatic writing, which means that it just wrote automatically without thinking um, um, without thinking what it would mean. But um, still some days there are some people that are determined to believe that it's actually, it actually means something and that uh, they are working on breaking the code. You have some like formulas here. There is a strange pagination here, as you can see, but this one has been broken, broken, broke. Um, this one has been uh, deciphered, so some mathematicians have been able to determine that there was an actual formula on how the pages were written, and they've been able to understand the code. So. Yeah, you, you really have, so it's, it's a big book, there are really lots of, um, as you can see, it's a, yeah, pretty, pretty big book, but I love it, you could really spend, like, what is that, is it a card game or some kind of numeral, numeral way to, to count, some 
glassy contraptions here and whatever page you open it you will see some really awesome things so here you go for this first episode that was the Codex Serafinianus by uh, Luigi Serafini um, one thing I forgot to mention is it actually it looks really old but it's been published in 1981 and the author is still alive today so he could he could give us a key to the language um, but I'm afraid um, no one knows really knows if he's playing with people and if it's a really um, uncomprehensible um, language or if it's actually something that would mean something if you manage to decode it but um, I'm afraid he will go without telling us his secret um, so yes that's the Codex Serafinianus by uh, Luigi Serafini I hope you enjoyed this first episode of our weird and rare books uh, series and let us know if you liked it, let us know if you, if you will see others, uh, next week will be uh, another book, uh, completely different book, <laughs> um, probably not by me. We will try to continue this series during the summer, so uh, yeah, let us know if you, if you liked it and uh, do you have any strange books at home, something that is really unique to your collection and that no one else had or actually never heard of, let us know because we would be really interested to know what's what little treasures are hidden on your shelves. Uh, so have a lovely, lovely day and um, try to not dream of this strange world that might or might not exist.